Welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we'll be discussing the early councils of the Church and how doctrine developed in those early times. Officially, there have been 21 ecumenical councils in Church history, but I think the first 10 will be enough for this season. Today, we'll be discussing the fifth official ecumenical council, the Second Council of Constantinople. Unlike the last couple of councils, this one didn't really have to deal with any new heresies or enforce disciplinary canons, but it did still issue anathemas, mainly because some Nestorian style, dividing the natures of Jesus too much, writings had popped up called the Three Chapters, and written by three separate individuals called Theodore, Theodoret, and Ibis, and there had been some confusion over the condemning of those writings, so the Pope and the Emperor decided that it was best to settle it with a council. The council was held in Constantinople at the insistence of the emperor, though the pope wasn't too happy about that because it meant a lot of bishops from the western areas of the church wouldn't be able to make it. Ultimately, though, the council did condemn the heretical writings of the three chapters and issued a bunch of anathemas related to them. People were to be anathematized, banned essentially, if they didn't conform to the following positions. The Father, Son, and Holy Spirit share the same substance as one God, and the Word of God, Jesus, had one birth in time, but also in existence outside of time. The word nativity is used to describe them both in the documents themselves, though being eternal and uncreated isn't exactly a birth or origin per se, and Mary, who gave birth to him, was also ever virgin. The word of God was Jesus, and therefore it's not correct to say that God just had sympathy for the man Jesus and dwelled in him for that reason, or that God's union with human flesh didn't also have a rational and a human soul. Jesus was not two people, only one, so Mary is correctly referred to as the mother of God. Jesus' human nature was not turned divine, nor was his divine nature turned human. The two natures were different, and definitely two natures, but both had by one person. There shouldn't, however, be worship for each nature, only for Jesus himself. Jesus is truly God and one member of the Holy Trinity. The positions of heretics on these topics should be condemned, and the condemnations of the heretics and their writings should be accepted. The writings of Theodore, Theodoret, and Ibis shouldn't be defended either. Compared to what had come before, this was a short council, which mostly just reaffirmed the rulings of previous councils, but you know how it is. As long as people keep making the same errors, the church has to be there to point it out. Next, the Third Council of Constantinople. That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.